Hey guys, it's Lissa here, and I just thought I would pop in and do a really quick how-to on whitening your teeth, because if you drink soda, tea, eat, this is the time of year I think that like, at least I feel like, teeth staining is in high time. You're drinking wine on the porch, you're drinking iced coffees, meeting friends for iced coffee, eating cherries, strawberries, all this stuff just stains your teeth which who really cares that much? It's not like I eat something and I think, oh gee, is this gonna make my teeth stain? Not at all, but it's good to keep up. You know, you want your teeth to look clean and white and um, pretty. So um, I don't ever wanna spend though like the expensive money on teeth whitening kits and the cheap ones at the drugstore taste disgusting. I will never forget, I think it was like my freshman year in college, my friend and I went out and bought like this teeth whitening kit for a formal that we had. And I just remember the taste being so disgusting. I could hardly stand it. So I thought, who wouldn't want to whiten their teeth on spare change that they can find in the couch? So that's what we're going to do today. What you need for this, it's so simple. This is literally going to be like the quickest video. Um, you need a slice of lemon. This is honestly big. You don't even need it this size. A bowl. And this is actually from the friend that I whiten my teeth with. <laughs> so thanks, Joe. Um, a timer. You can use anything. I use my phone. Toothbrush, obviously. Um, Q-tip and baking soda. This is literally like the oldest box of baking soda. This is from when Jay and I first got married, and it's still, like, pretty much full. Um, okay, so all you do is, the first thing I do, I um, will take a Q-tip and just wipe off my teeth. So, like, any plaque, I usually brush my teeth first, honestly, before I do this as well. But you just wipe off any plaque or saliva or anything, and then you just... Squeeze the lemon juice into this bowl. Dump in some baking soda. And it's honestly not a science. It's just, it should be enough that it bubbles. Um, the mixture. And then I take my toothbrush and brush it across my teeth. And then I just time it for one minute. And I don't leave it on. You don't want to leave it on any longer than a minute. I rinse it like right away because you don't want to eat away at the enamel on your teeth. So... I literally will like time it for a minute, rinse it off, and I only do this like once in a while. I'll do it once a week until my teeth reach like the white that I'm lo looking for, you know, and then I don't do it for a while. So it's that simple, guys. So easy. Let me know if you try this and you're happy with the results. I've been really happy with them, and I think like it's so affordable. I love doing things, you know, with stuff that's just hanging around in my kitchen. So that's it. Hope that answered some questions for you. Let me know um, if you guys have any thoughts on that, any other ways that you whiten your teeth, and um, I'll see you next video. Bye, guys.